In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for CuCl2 plus K2CO3. This is copper 2 chloride plus potassium carbonate. First thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. It looks like all I need to do is put a 2 in front of the KCl. I have two potassium atoms, two potassium atoms, the two chlorine, two chlorine, copper, copper, and then carbonate on each side. So yeah, that's balanced. This is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we write the state for each substance. So chloride's very soluble. That's going to be aqueous. It's going to dissolve, break apart into its ions. Potassium compounds, very soluble. But copper carbonate, carbonates often aren't soluble. Potassium, that's an exception. But copper carbonate is going to be insoluble. That means it's going to have S here because it's a solid. It doesn't dissolve. In fact, when these two react, it's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube. It's a precipitation reaction. Potassium compounds, again, very soluble. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So copper, we don't know the charge on copper just looking at it, but we do know that the chloride ion, that's always one minus. And we have two of them, so two minus, this has to be two plus. So we have the copper two ion. I won't write the states, let's do that later. And then two chloride ions. Potassium's in group one, that has a one plus ionic charge, and the whole carbonate is two minus. Good one to know. Two potassium ions, and then just the carbonate ion here. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the product solids, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. So we just have our copper carbonate. We said plus and minus, so we have the two potassium ions again, and two chloride ions again. And this is the complete ionic equation. Now we'll cross out those spectator ions on both sides. So as I look here in the reactants, here's the two chloride ions. In the products, two chloride ions. I have two potassium ions here in the reactants and in the products. Cross those out. What's left, this is the net ionic equation for CuCl2 plus K2CO3. Let me clean this up, write the states in, we'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for copper 2 chloride plus potassium carbonate. You'll note charge is conserved. We have 2 plus, 2 minus. That gives us a net charge of zero here. This is neutral net charge of zero. The atoms, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for copper 2 chloride plus potassium carbonate. Thanks for watching.